fact that she suffered and nobody was there to help her, it's just senseless. What neighbors call senseless, investigators are deeming first degree murder of a seven year old. And they believe Anthony Yonko and the girl's mom, Lisa Mitchell, are responsible. It's just crazy to me. This arrest affidavit shows the investigation began last week when the couple took the little girl to the hospital just after midnight Friday. Their hospital staff noticed she had bruises and looked about 20 pounds underweight. Officers say the two kept changing their stories over what happened to the girl, claiming they had been feeding her soup and crackers thinking she had the flu. Well, investigators aren't buying that, and now the two are being held on a $10 million bond, all while other children were at the home with Yonko's brother. Nobody answered the door. We also learned the children are no longer in his care. DHS sent us a statement calling this case heartbreaking. There's a lot more about the case they can't tell us just yet, including whether they've been called to the home in the past and if there were any other red flags from schools or medical staff about the children's health. We'll need to wait until the medical examiner's report concludes until we can get that information. In the meantime, flowers are left at the doorstop where neighbors now mourn for that little girl wishing circumstances could have been different. I couldn't even imagine. I'm, I'm knowing that my child is not going to the bathroom, not eating mm -hmm. or anything like that and not be worried. Sean Navarro, KOCO 5 News. Their next court dates have not been set and police say at this time, Yonko's brother, who was also living with them at the time, is not facing any charges connected to the children.